Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to solve Ghost Touch problem in Android. So, in unfortunate or unseen scenario, you might have to act you might have accidentally dropped your phone or you might have actually smashed it somewhere and a ghost touch problem is now arising on your mobile device. So there's a way for us to actually solve this without actually you replacing your LCD or your screen itself because most probably it's causing or the problem itself or is on the hardware itself. But we could actually fix this using a specific application on our mobile device. So here, the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up Play Store here. And from here, you want to type in the following, which is partial screen. And from here, go ahead and install partial screen on your mobile device. So once you've installed that, just click on open. And from here, it's going to welcome you. So here, just click on get permission. And from here, make sure that you allow the allow display over other apps. So here, let's go back once we allow this one. And from here, do not touch your screen during scan is running. It's, go it's going to appear. What is happening right now, it's actually going to try scanning your screen for any ghost touch problems in your Android device. So sometimes this works with the annual analysis, but you could actually do this manually. You could add regions where the ghost touch is happening. So right now, let's just wait for the screen or screen analysis happening right now on our mobile device and just let's just wait for the result. So here, once the analysis is complete, it's going to say if there are any ghost touches happening on your account here. So here, if the analysis failed to run automatically, or for example, it didn't find any ghost touch problems, well, you could actually add manual region. So just click on add manual region. And from here, you want to uh, press volume up to apply or volume down to cancel. So here, you just want to resize this blue region that you see on your screen here so you could actually just pinch the sizes from top bottom and you could make it smaller or you could pinch from left and right for you to make it thinner and from here you just need to properly position this on your screen here well the where the ghost touch is actually happening and for you to apply your changes just click on the volume up on your device and it's going to apply that specific ghost touch cancellation or the ghost touch uh, disabler on your phone so just click on it volume up and it's going to apply it here so if you want to remove or stop this service just click on stop service there and if you want to start manual service just click on start manual service so if you want to adjust your settings here just click on settings and from here you can actually do a lot of stuff here like for example if you want to use rounded corners you go ahead and do that you could also uh, change call uh, corners color here for example here we want to change this to another one so for example for green and just click on ok and it's going to change the color for our specific regions there and yeah so you could if you want to use cor a screen corners okay yeah from there and that's basically it so there's the settings for the application itself and yeah if you want to run the screen analysis again you can go ahead and click on run screen analysis again and yeah so when go to area manager here you can go ahead and remove the areas for example we want to remove the first one that we added or the second one that we added here so that's basically it this is the area manager you could go ahead and clear all here if you want to and yeah so basically, this is how it works. It just basically blocks a certain region on your mobile device, basically making it untouchable. You won't be able to move things around that area and basically disabling the ghost touch problem in Android. And that's basically it. So hopefully this video was able to help you and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.